ticket tonight, and we here at EA Sports are so excited to bring it to you. Along with Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Let's get ready to play this one. International showdown here tonight. Does the environment change when you're playing nationally as opposed to a club? 100% it does, because it's a little bit different. You're not usually with regular teammates, so everything feels a little bit different, but you are playing for your country. Opening face-off is set to go. Referee Gilles Levesque is ready to drop the puck. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. This has been one we've been waiting for for a while, and it's time to finally see what the payoff is all about. Goudreau's carrying it ahead. And a Whoa. smart heads-up read to come up with the puck. Intercepts the pass. Sent into the offensive zone. Canada's got the puck along the boards. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Team USA's got the puck now. Goudreau's got it along the wing. Kane's going to play it against the half wall. Centering pass! Team Canada's got control of it now from their own end. And it's a quick pass to Hall. Shot! He scores! The former Hart Trophy winner, Taylor Hall! This is a perfectly timed shot. As soon as the goalie drops into the butterfly, this puck is delivered right over his catching glove into the top of the net. Canada's made their way back to center ice here, and they've got that one nothing lead. The road is a funny place to play. You can't really be too aggressive, but when you get an early lead, James, you can open it up a little bit. Hammers him in the open ice. Puts it in deep. Grabbed along the boards by McDavid. Oh, he might be shaking his head after that one. Pretty good shot. Nice delivery of the shot, but the goaltender beats him. Van Riemsdyk's got it against the boards. Moves the puck down low. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Team Canada's gained possession along the boards. Takes it out of the offensive zone and back to center. With possession along the wall. Snaps it on net. Denies him! Denies him again! Oh, he's on it there. Both saves are really good ones. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Handles the puck. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Quick's made an excellent stop here. He follows the puck and shuts down the scoring chance. Canada's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. Bergeron's won the draw here in the neutral zone. Feeds the puck to Petrangelo, and he slides it quickly to Bergeron. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. From the back of the cage with the puck. Comes up with the steal. Team USA's had outstanding stick positioning. Coaches will love to show this in the video tomorrow. And now he moves it quickly to Suter. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Team Canada's capitalized on their offensive abilities here in this first period. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. And he slides it quickly to Subban. USA's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Suter's got the puck along the wing. Suter's got the puck. Let's it fly. Stick saved by the goaltender. Sagan's moving it ahead. And now it's over to Getzlaff. Sagan's got it on the offensive end. Into the corner of the attacking area. Great defensive stick work on the play. And takes a tour out of the offensive end to find some space at center. Canada's got a hold of it against the wall. And that one's picked off. Makes the save. Everything looks so easy for Carey Price. Smooth, efficient movement. There he makes an excellent stop. Quick pass to Getzlaff. 
Nice pass. Pass back to the point. Team USA's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves it to Kane. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. Dished on over to Crosby. Lugs the puck back into the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Weber. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Snapper from the slot with the stop. Still to come in period number two. Lots of action on the ice and up in the broadcast booth. Business will pick up. The iconic Snoop Dogg will join us here. Team Canada's got the lead here late in this first period. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Burns plays it against the boards. Slides it over to Giroux. Right in the slot. Scores! Brent Burns! Really good work here in the offensive zone. They don't score early, but they stay on it. They retrieve the puck again. They get a couple of chances. They wear them out, and eventually they score. <laughs> Canada's lead now extends to two as they make their way back to center ice here. Probably a little surprising. It's not more than two, James. They've had the majority of shots on goal and the majority of the dangerous chances. Scored by number 88, Brent Burns. Assisted by number 20. Moves it around along the half wall. And by number 20, John Now a quick pass to Giroux. Takes a shot. Gets in front of it. Taken by Falk. Offside the call, and we'll have a face off just outside the blue line. Team Canada's been the better team here in this first period. More shots and more goals. Just a better all-around execution. Stick around, everybody. Big, big special guest coming up in the broadcast booth in period number two. You don't want to miss it. Listen up, fans. For tonight only, all team jerseys are 15% off regular price with the presentation of your ticket stub. Get yours before they're all gone. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. Second period action here tonight. James and Ray with you, and business is picking up here. The D-O-double-G is in the house here in the broadcast booth. The one, the only, Snoop Dogg. I got to tell you, man, I am so amped up. Thanks for doing this. Man, thank you for having me. For shizzle dizzle, I'm in the house. Hey, when the Kings went to the silver and black look in the late 80s, you're a kid at the time, but did that add a little more street cred to the hockey team locally? It really did. It put them right in the hood, you know what I'm saying? Because now we can start to rock those Kings jerseys and Kings. Oh, no. He I scores. need that. I need that. That crossed the line. That's a goal. Go. The light is yeah, on. light is on. Give me mine. And he's lit up our guest in the broadcast. He's so lit. Actually, James, it's amazing to me how many times an odd man rush gets screwed up. They deliver this one perfectly, and they put one on the board. Snoop, as you were just saying, hockey, hip-hop. Has there been any sort of impact with the jerseys? Definitely. From the days of N.W.A. to the days of Snoop Dogg, hockey has always been hip-hop. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. The good old-fashioned hook is sending him off to the box. He's almost in the right position, but he's got to give him a little hook. When he gives that tug, he goes to the penalty box. It gets called every time. Canada's sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. They've worked on the power play a lot at practice over the last couple of days. This is their first one tonight, and they'll want to execute what they've worked on, which is to win the draw and start moving the puck. Gets it out of his own end. 
you've been around the league, you've traveled around the world. You must meet some of these athletes. Do you know some NHLers? Yeah, I know a couple of them. Now, you know a few friends of mine happen to play in the NHL. P.K. Subban. What up, P.K.? My main man, Sid, the kid, that's my favorite player. But, you know, me and Sid got a nice love for each other. Every time we see each other, we shake hands and bump fists and do what we do. And he do what he does, I does what all I does. Come it's on, man. 87, man. You know what I'm talking about? I'm also, I, I'm a big fan of Ovechkin, too. And I've been loving him for years. And uh, the goalie quick from the Kings, he's special. You celebrated cups with the Kings. I mean, they let me drink, man. I mean, what was I supposed to do, man? Me and Stanley got to understand. Hey, Stanley. Slides it diagonally to Stamkos. Officials blow the whistle. We've got icing on the call. Yeah, nothing too smooth about that play. It's Snoop Dogg with us here in the broadcast booth. Super fans seem to be left, right, and center in sports these days. Could it work in hockey? Do you like seeing the super fans? Man, look at what it's doing for other sports. It's growing the sports to another level. Hockey deserves it, man. This sport has been around for many years. It's a great sport. It's competitive, and um, people love it. So it deserves that. We need more super fans. I'll be the first one. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the one and only Snoop Dogg. I don't know if you got to get going, but do you want to watch the rest of the period up here with us? If I can order us a couple of drinks, I'd love to stay up here with you. I will not discriminate against Hey, bring the drinks up like here. That. I'm going to be up here for a minute. Back to the blue line. Takes the pass. Move to the middle. Here's a shot. Comes up with the stop. Oh, oh good job. Save. Good job. Way to go. Way to go. Team Canada's got the puck along the wall. And some fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. And now he moves it to Stamkos. Stamkos plays it into the offensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to Crosby. Stamkos has it near the back end and makes the save. Slides it quickly to Kane. Kane's got it in the offensive zone. Canada's regained possession of the puck. Into the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Weber. And it's a quick pass to Doughty. And there's the save. USA's got the puck along the boards. And now he angles it across to Suter. On the attack along the boards. Shot. That's in there. Scored. That's in there. It's in. Yeah, it is. Get you some love. What do you think of that one? Get you some love. I love that one. Go get you some love. Hug your teammates. There you go. Get no you some. Nothing but love from the dog father Get himself. you some love, man. Wow, that screen looked like it was just about perfect, didn't it? He doesn't even react as this puck goes by him. More than half the period has expired. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Scored by number eight, Joe Pavel. Jones moves the puck. Slides the puck over. Along the half wall with the puck. 12 minutes, 25 seconds. Right up front. Huge steal in his own end. Petrangelo's got it into offensive territory. Team USA is looking to break out of their own end. Into the offensive end now. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Up along the wing. Moves the puck along the half wall. Puts it on goal. That goes off the mask. He scores! On the radar. Give me the goal. I need money. Impressive effort. Man. And even the dog father's impressed by I that. I love one. that shot right there. Way to go, boy. Defender's trying to do his job. He's trying to be in the right spot. The only thing he is is a deflection board as the puck bounces off him and goes in the net. Team Canada's going to try to hang on to this lead here in the late goings of this second. And it's not by back on your heels. It's by being aggressive, by forechecking, play defense in the other team's end. Quick feed to Petrangelo. Pass right on the doorstep. Laying the body. USA's gained possession along the boards. Let's it go from the slot. Flies over the net. I think he's trying to be too perfect. Get it on goal. Oh, he's going to be feeling the regret on that one, though, yeah, right? You don't get many chances, and this one's not even a scoring chance because he doesn't hit the net. And makes the save. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Last 
Here's an odd man rush. Quick pass to Weber. Just wide. Team USA has got a hold of it against the wall. Carlson's taking it from his own end. Denied by the goaltender. He is a treasure, everybody. The one and only Snoop Dogg. Third period action is coming up, and it's coming up next. Just a one-goal game after 40 minutes. It's 3-2. Feeling hungry? Try our arena restaurant for gourmet dining with great views of the action. We'll get a light meal with one of our many... What's in store for the third the period? Course. Let's tune in to find out just moments away. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. Here we go. Put up or shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? USA has been chasing this game and chasing the puck much of the first two periods. If they're going to get back in it, they've got to possess the puck a lot more. Blocked in traffic. Crosby's got it along the boards. Takes the feed. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Here they are on the attack. McDonough's got it along the wing. Backhander in front. Blocker save. Smothered that in close chance. Canada's turned good defense into good offense as they lead it early in this third period. McDavid's won it off the faceoff. Drills them. Puts the puck on net. Denied by the blocker. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Tavares. Tavares plays the puck. Takes the feed. And that's blocked. Kessel swooping in on the attack. Moves it to Kessel. Stopped by the goaltender. Tries to get it over to Tavares. Tavares setting up against the wall. Giroux's dangerous in the offensive zone. He's got it now, and he's already got the go-ahead goal. Grabs the puck here at the blue line. Let's it go! Great save with the stick. And now it's over to Van Riemsdyk. Van Riemsdyk's going to play it against the half wall. Here's a short pass to Tavares. Over the line they come. Poked away from danger. And that one's turned away. Wow, did the ice get small for him. There's nowhere to go. And he had to absorb this huge hit. Team Canada's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. Bergeron's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. USA's got a hold of it along the wall. Gets the puck back onto a stick. Circles back to center ice. And now he moves it to full. Moves the puck. Can't get it to go. Canada's got the puck along the wall. Ref's arm goes up in the air. Looks like we got a hooking call coming up. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Doubt he's getting called for two minutes here by the officials. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Were you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. And their first chance to use the man advantage. This is a pretty simplistic power play. They like to get the puck, shoot it, crash the net, get it back, and shoot it again. What a great time to have a man advantage as they trail by one. Team USA's got the puck along the boards. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Throws it on goal. And that goes off the face of the goaltender. Price has had a pretty pedestrian night in goal. Not much to do down there. But he makes a great stop here. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. 3-2 is where we sit. It's a one-goal game in what has been a very fun contest to this point. Stop by the blocker. 
Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. USA's gained possession along the boards. Carries it in. Takes the feed at the point. Denied by the goaltender. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. Rips it from the blue line. Team Canada's got the puck shorthanded. Penalty has expired. You've got to give the shorthanded unit a lot of credit there. Well, there are times you look for your power play at the very least to gain a little momentum. They needed a goal. Now they still trail by one back to even strength. And that's blocked away. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Moves it quickly over to Giroux. Sends a pass over. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Team USA's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves it over to Kane. Kane's got it against the boards. Quick feed to Kane. And that one's stopped. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Puck knocked loose after that hit. And that one's broken up. Takes it across the blue line. Takes that pass back at the point. USA's got control of it now from their own end. With possession along the wall. Let's it rip. Oh, what a beautiful glove save. As a great older colleague of mine says, this is waffle boarded away. Here in the dying moments of this period, just one goal separating these two teams as we sit with a 3-2 lead. Crosby's won a big draw in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Hall. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Hammers it on net. He scores! The former Hart Trophy winner, Taylor Hall. With the new sticks, you can really lean on him. He gets everything behind this snapshot. And he beats the goaltender cleanly. Canada's offense, the story tonight as they lead it here in this third period. Matthews wins it in the neutral zone. Quick pass to McDonough. Castle's got the puck. In need of a goal, the extra attacker's out on the ice. Comes up with a steal. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Matthews brings it in. Matthews has the puck against the half wall. Receives the pass. Slides the puck down low. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Right in the slot. Gives them nothing in front. Well, a big face-off here, Razor. Empty net. The face-off becomes critical. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. With the stop. Play blown dead. Penalty coming up here. Giroux's going to the box for tripping. Reaching out for the puck. I guess it's a little bit of a bad play. You've got to realize the guy's getting away. Let him go before you take the penalty. The official's making him pay for it. Extra attacker at one end, but an empty net at the other as his face-off looms. Yeah, you draw the play up, you look for the face-off win for a quick shot. Here's a blast, turns it aside. 19 minutes, 31 seconds. Extra attacker out here with the empty net on the line with his face-off. A lot of pressure on the centerman, you need the face-off. Gets last wanted in their own end and manages to clear the zone. Team USA's got a hold of it along the wall. Here they come on the attack. Here's a shot, comes up with the stop. Scores, putting the power in power play. Did just about everything right on that man advantage, they capitalized.
At this point, James, I don't think they've got anything to lose. They pull the goalie, right? You're trying to score. They chase around, and finally they get a chance, and the puck goes in the net. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And he makes the save. There it is, final horn sounds. We are all over here with this one. Puck possession, the name of the game in this one tonight, Ray. Really good job. They had the puck, they kept the puck, and when they didn't have a play, they seemed to put it into a place where they were going to get it next. They controlled the play and therefore controlled the game. Well, this one's in the books. A fun one tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Good night.